Hazel Finley and Alex Honnold have just got back from six week expedition to Greenland, where they've been combining climbing with climate science. The standout line of the trip was pool wall, which they roughly graded at E6 in British quirk grading. And they also experienced some pretty adverse weather conditions, down to around minus six degrees Celsius and several snowstorms throughout. They climbed the route over two days, working with a ropes access team who put up fixed ropes so that the climate scientists could join them and collect rock samples along the way in an effort to help recreate the area's glacial history. Working alongside French glaciologist Heidi Silvestre, the team studied moulins, measured the density of the ice cap, sunk a NASA robot into the fjord, placed temperature sensors on the rock and drilled core samples from high up the walls to help climate scientists undergo a health check for the area. After dragging a radar device along the Renland ice cap, Hazel and Alex arrived at the foot of their prize, the goal of the trip, a first ascent of the 1,200 meter Granite Nice Tower, Ingmikotulak. <laughs> Ingmikotulak? Ingmikotulak. The pair climbed the northeast ridge over five days using fixed ropes before making a two-day summit push. Lead climate scientist Heidi Sylvester told National Geographic, we desperately need scientific data from this region. Studying the fjords, glaciers, the ice sheets will bring so much data to the scientific community that the contribution will be extremely positive. This year has been a particularly stark year as far as the climate is concerned within the Alps closer to home, with the Forschhut having fallen down in a landslide, and more recently, the Cosmic Sarette having suffered pretty severe rockfall. And as a result of this, perhaps this trip won't be remembered so much for the climbing as it will championing awareness of the climate crisis.